Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone. Now, last time, we did kind of a puffskin puzzle, or puffskine, I'm not sure you pronounce that. And, uh, yeah, now we're gonna explore this pathway here, and see what's next. Yeah, I can't imagine, I can't imagine Hagrid trying to jump from platform to platform, or break, break the platform and fall right into the lava. Probably why he's sending us through instead of himself. He's like, yeah, it's too dangerous for me. Young Hogwarts boy, who do you find? But those are what we want. I think those are fire seeds. <laughs> ah. Look, Harry can, Harry can walk on lava. Oh, man, the controls for a second there, I don't know what happened. Let's use the D-pad. Yeah. I got used to jumping again. Just jumping works. There we go. It's not too bad. It's just a little bit weird. You're fine, Harry. Who would have thought like a ten year old boy can walk on lava? No problem. I mean, it sure burns a little bit, but at least you're not sinking. I wish I remember this part of, part of the books. Hurry jumping around on platforms above lava. Harry Potter, I suck at the mini games. Incendio! Man. Incendio! What is up with me today? This may take me a minute. Get the pattern correct. You don't have much time to react in some instances. Incendio! It's annoying too because like it changes right the, right when you when you're like, oh okay, it's gonna be like see that I thought it was gonna be circle or vice versa, and I can't even see it. Incendio! You know what I mean? It's like it changes at the last second. That's annoying. Incendio! Oh my god, finally. Yeah, sorry that took me like five minutes. Oh, look, and the camera's clipping. Yeah, sorry about that accident. I don't know why, but for some reason I just could not get the... Could not get the gist of that minigame. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really help either, though, that... Like, it just kind of changes without really... You know, it, it changes it kind of at random. Like, it's kind of hard to get down a pattern of it. Shit. What 
Whatever, we made it back. Am I even going the right way? Yes, I am. Well done, Harry. You've found the fire seeds. Now I can show you what I need them for. But it's our secret, mind you. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? I got this from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon egg. I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. Surprising. You've done it, Harry. Surprising. It's hatching. <whistles> Up you come, my beauty. Ain't he lovely? I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book, Quidditch Through the Ages. Hmm, I'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. I'll see you later, Harry. Thanks again. Bye, Hagrid. Any chocolate frogs? I kind of took a lot of damage, sure. soul. Maybe. This is the entrance to the Quidditch pitch, but first years like us aren't allowed to play. I hear they make exceptions sometimes though, but only if you are very, very good. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Yes, as you're just standing there awkwardly talking Malfoy about it. Right stole there. my remember all. <laughs> he ran off onto the school grounds with it. I need the remember all to find my toad. Please help me. Come on, I'll show you where he went. So Longbottom has gone snivelling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remember all. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about 
up a tree. Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. And you better watch out for my bludgers. There we go. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. I don't have much health. Has gone sni I think i think you can ca and you better watch Okay, give me some health back, that's nice. Is stuck in a tree. Come on, Harry. Thank you. Stupid thing. I've no use for it. <laughs> You've got my remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, deputy headmistress of Hogwarts and head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch, in your case, we might overlook that rule. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Hufflepuff is about to start. 
Do I get to my game first? I'd like to save if you don't mind. Oh. Wow! You're going to play Quidditch! And as a seeker too! I just wanted to wish you good luck, Harry. Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. As soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hut to give you a big congratulations. I know you'll catch the snitch first, I just know it. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two metres of each team try to keep them away. Gryffindor's new team seeker is Harry Potter. It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Here comes Potter! A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Yeah! The crowd is on its feet! Come on, Harry Potter! Oh, that was close! I've not seen such flying! Potter is so close! A near miss for Potter! Wonderful! Here comes a bludger! Here comes the Hufflepuff Seeker! If it isn't the notorious Mr. Potter. Remember my name, it's Professor Snape. And I know all about you, boy. Is that a library book in your grimy little hand? Library books, by definition, are not to be taken from the library. I'll just confiscate that, thank you. As soon as my missing sloth brain is recovered, we'll start the first potions lesson. Okay. Hey, it's a piece of a map. Hold on. This is Fred and George's handiwork. The map shows there is a forgotten area around here. I wonder if it could be behind that old rusty door. The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Well, here goes. Alahamora. Wow, look. I've opened that rusty door. Come on, let's see where it leads. Okay. That is going to be the end for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In this episode we did quite a lot, got back to Hagrid, and um, 
We got, got a chance to play some Quidditch, some other things like that. So, thanks all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more like this, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.